it's time for another Battlebound unboxing video. So throw on your neural helmets, strap yourselves into your mech, and get ready for Battle Talk. Alright Battletech fans, you voted for it, we're gonna do it. The Tactical Map Case Review from Catalyst Game Labs. I've got my battle mats all set up and ready for it, but first, let's get to the Death Ray Designs Custom Battlebound Miniature. Now folks, I know that there's a lot of you out there who's been asking, so what are the stats on this thing? Can I play this on the tabletop? And the answer is yes, you can. And not only are we gonna unbox it, I'm gonna put the stats up here on the screen for you before the end of this video so you can see exactly what you can do with this piece of machinery. Now before we get into it, I wanted to say that the design on this particular machine when I was coming up with it is a Solaris 7 dueling mech. This isn't the type of mech you take out on a campaign. This isn't the type you want to go fight all the clanners with. This is you drop out of the pod into the Solaris 7 stables and all you want to do is chew through the enemy. And before you say it, yes, I know it looks very much like ED-209 from Robocop. However, the logo was made for us by somebody who was just wanting to do something nice and they wanted to make a show logo for us before any of this was even a thing. And so that was just based on a piece of free clip art. So when Death Ray Designs came at me and said, we want to make a miniature based on your logo, <laughs> Fate had already cast its hand by then. So I decided to make the model number, the BB-209, kind of as a little throwback to one of my favorite movie franchises, Robocop. So without further ado, let's get into it. So this one's part of their Solar Shift miniature line, and I'll throw a link for that up on the screen here very shortly so you can find out where to get yours. But looking at it straight from the box here, the detail already looks excellent. So let's pop this guy open and see what she's made of. So we've got our hex base there, always good. Looks like here we've got our torso, which I really like the detail on that. Let's get a real close up view. Oh yeah. Ooh, I really like the detail on the back there. And we got our arms, arm sprues. As you can tell, this guy brings the DACA. He's got them auto cannons. You'll see exactly what that's all about. Just a second. Arm sprue the other. All right. Now this, this is really interesting. I like this. It's already got that torso hip connector connected to this one hip. And that, I'm telling you right now, is just one of those things where every time I have to put a miniature together that has the two legs separate from the hip connector piece, it's always a bear to get that thing in the right position. So the fact that this is already done for me, huge plus. Then we got our other leg sprue here. So this is 3D printed, it looks like, but it's very smooth. I don't see any of the normal print lines on this thing except for like right there, which you could easily get that out with a pair of tweezers, an X-Acto knife, something like that, but it's looking pretty good, so let's get her assembled and see what she looks like.
So thank you so much. If you like it, please let me know. Tell me any adventures that you have with it. Tell me any victories that you win with it. I would love to hear your stories. But let's get on to the real big thing, the tactical map case. Let's get into it. All right. Right out of the box. I'm already a fan of the shoulder strap. Get that sucker on there. There we are. Put that down there. There we are. All right. Very cool. Oh, and it's a screw top lid, so won't have to worry about it just going boom, popping off on you. Got a little bit of a filler in there, so let's see if we can't get it out. So it's kind of interesting. It comes with this little mason jar looking thing on the inside and there's a screw top lid on it. So I'm more inclined to think that this was not filler, that this was a purposeful addition to this particular tube. And I didn't do too much reading on it. So maybe there's some obvious detail that I'm missing there, but you could put some dice in here. You could put some counters in here. Heck, you could even put some tissue paper if you didn't have any miniature cases and you could throw a couple of miniatures in there and then you'd have that along with your battle mask. So so, all right, very cool. Now the test. Can it fit? I've got my two big Stranamecti battle mats here. These are the bigger ones of all the other ones I've seen, at least ways it feels like it to me. So if I'm wrong, so sue me, but they feel bigger than the standard battle mat. So I'm really gonna put this thing to the test and use the two biggest ones I have. So let's see how she fits. Now this is supposed to fit two battle mats. So let's see, throw one in there, no problem. And the way I look at that is it's definitely not going to fit two of these battle mats, one on top of the other. So what we're gonna have to do is get both of these out and we're gonna have to roll them up together and it's gonna be really thick. So let's see how that goes. So I've got my two battle mats all rolled up together and I rolled them up tight. So let's see if they fit. Survey says. All right, that's the sound we were looking for. Now I tried rolling these up in kind of a looser, more lackadaisical style, but that absolutely did not fit. So if you're gonna wanna get two of these battle mats into this tube, you're going to need to put them one right on top of the other, and you're going to have to roll them up very tightly so that they fit. But once they're in the tube, they will expand just a little bit, it looks like, yep, and they will fit in there perfectly. Let's see if it's easy to get them out. Oh yeah, and they just pop right out, so. Very cool. So all in all, I'm gonna have to give the tactical map case the old fire in the hole thum, five stars because it functions as intended. It comes with a little bit of extra storage in case you need it. It looks really cool on the outside. It's got the shoulder strap. It's got the screw on lid. I think when you roll into your friendly local game shop with this guy on your back, you're instantly gonna be Mr. Blue Skies. You're gonna whip out your battle mats and it's gonna be super cool. So I highly recommend purchasing one of these if you have several battle mats and that's your preferred play style, it's absolutely gonna work out for you. I'll throw down the price here at the bottom of the screen. For the money, I feel like the value is good. You know, it's hard plastic. You got, you know, your nylon shoulder strap there, a couple of clasps. So I definitely feel like the value for the money is, you know, spot on, five stars. I'd give this one, a, you know, two thumbs up. You wanna grab it? Grab it. Thank you so much for voting on this one. Remember folks, we do have a Patreon. I'll put the link right down at the bottom of the screen. Please consider signing up for the Patreon, folks. It does help the show and it helps me create more honest, fair and balanced reviews just like this one for Battletech fans like yourselves to make sure that you get the most bang for your buck every time you hit up something online to buy a product or every time you go into the store. And remember folks, if you liked what you've seen so far, do me a big favor, like the video, comment on the video, subscribe for more videos like this one. 
All of this engagement, folks, does nothing but boost our numbers and sends these videos out via the algorithm to more Battletech fans just like yourselves. And remember, please share this video with anybody that you think it might be relevant to. Otherwise, I'm Tuck Davian, I have been your host, and we're looking forward to seeing you next time out on the Space Lanes. Hmm, your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter. Crowdfunding is when lots of people give you small amounts of money to help your passion project come to life.